Hey everyone, so today my friend Rad Empanada made a Twitter account. You can go and follow him over there at Rad Empanada. And this very quickly paid off because Rad, who is 100% not me, found possibly the most amazing image ever. I really think this image is like conservatism, neoliberalism, all of that, all summed up perfectly. I mean, okay, let's look at it. It's in Spanish. It says at the top, the other face of reality like the other side of reality. And so you've got gravestones with the names of businesses on them, like um, gym, small shop, restaurant, um, consultancy, business, whatever. And you know, <laughs> everyone's mourning the businesses. Now, obviously, obviously this is in relation to the, uh, you know, the thing that's going on right now, the plandemic. I, I'm, not, I'm not allowed to say that word, otherwise the video gets flagged. But yeah, so this is just such a great summation of everything to do with conservatives and conservatism. Like, you know, the argument is, well, quarantine is saving lives. That's why we need quarantine. You know, it might hurt the economy. Some Maybe some businesses need to close, maybe whatever. But, you know, it's much better than people dying. And whoever made this incredible comic, I don't know what the original source is. I've just seen it posted on Twitter. I tried to, I tried to do a reverse Google search, but... There's way too many posts for me to actually find the original source. It's like, well, yeah, people are dying, but you know, businesses are worth as much as people. Are you forgetting about the real victims? The restaurant? The the gym? Like, come on, they're gone now. You know, that's that's the end for them. What makes those people who are being saved worth more than um construction construction company? I mean, I could, you know, commentate on this a bit more. But I really think it just speaks for itself. Like this is something that someone would make as a parody of conservatives, you know, to like mock them. But here it is, like 100% serious. I mean, I mean, no, it's being posted 100% seriously. I don't know if it actually is serious. Maybe it was originally a joke, but they took it as serious, which is kind of scary. It's like, yeah, sure, maybe people are being saved, but at what cost, you know, the burger store on the corner, it's gone. Hey buddies, I got news for you. More burger stores are gonna pop up once all this blows over. The economy will recover, but the people who died can't be revived. So anyway, yeah, go and follow my best friend, Rad Empanada, on Twitter, and you can see him tweet about things like this. Rad Empanada, he's my friend, at Rad Empanada. He's not me, he's just my friend. Go follow him. So peace out, see you next time.